Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to show you guys an idea on how to customize plastic earring holders, much like this one. I bought this one off of Amazon. I do have the review for this one. It comes clear and it's plastic and I just painted this. And I love how it looks painted. I love how simple it is. But after that, I realized that it's like too tall for my taste. Like my earrings are just hanging too high and there is like a lot of like separation in between my earrings. So I'm just going to be fixing all that. So first I'm going to be measuring how much of this I want. So it's like an inch per side and then where I want those holes to be. Those holes are for my earrings, so that's where you want your earrings to be. This is pretty much personal taste. So now that I have my mark, I'm going to be cutting this and making the holes. For that, I'm going to be using my cutter and I'm using my stove actually because I'm going to be adding some heat to this. So I'm just going to be pretty much uh, heating up my blade. And please be careful if you do this, but I'm going to be holding this until it looks red, which means it's like burning hot. So be careful again. And first, I'm going to be cutting those edges going around like this and then for my holes first i decided to try this with a sewing pin but it didn't work out at all the plastic is just like way too strong for this doing the same thing by the way with the stove and everything just heating it up so i'm just going to be using this tool that is like for clay i think i got this kit with all these tools and this one is like a needle or just like a scribe tool and i'm going to be using that now my hair here covered the whole thing you cannot see anything love that for me so in a minute i'm going to show you what i did there but before i do that i'm just going to show you how i made this shorter just cutting this and melting this like i did before i didn't measure anything i just went by eye and this is how i made those holes again melting through the plastic to make the holes and here's where i decided to have a bit of fun with this i just used my electronic nail file or electronic nail drill how However you call this but it's just this tool for like acrylic nails and stuff i do have the review for this one if you want to check it out it's a really handy tool to have not only for nails like i'm doing right now but first i'm going to be using this attachment and working on the edges just to make them rounder and this is pretty much what i'm going to be doing and this is what it sounds like <laughs> And just, you know, taking my time. And this part actually was pretty relaxing, to be honest. To just see the before and after. Or just to see the, the transformation, I guess. Like making all those edges round and smooth. I'm going to be placing this back into its base. And then doing the same thing for the other edges. Now for the holes, I'm using these two attachments. With the smallest one and this one. And I'm just going to be making the holes bigger basically first with the smallest one and just placing it there before i plug it in or just turn it on because it's going to be impossible for you to do this once your tool is running yeah pretty much taking my time this was also relaxing to be honest to see how that tiny hole became a bigger one and then with the other one doing the same thing this is just to make this pretty much the same size and just bigger and now once it's the size that i want because you open plastic basically you're gonna have plastic on the edges of those holes so I'm just going to be filing all that and just cleaning and like smoothing the whole thing. And then I'm going to be painting this as I did before with my black acrylic paint. And this is pretty much it, guys. I know this DIY is just too specific for this earring holder. But I just wanted to show you because it's plastic. So if you have any earring holder that is plastic and you want to change that a bit like this, hopefully this inspired just gave you an idea on how you can do that. Or maybe you just watched for entertainment, watched the before and after or just to relax. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Both long and short earrings look better here, I think. Anyways, I really hope this was helpful and handy and you liked this. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. I have other DIYs on my channel if you want to check them out. Subscribe for more and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye!